Hi everyone, welcome back to the Ken's Log channel. This is a how-to on how to clean your Sega Genesis model number two. Uh, you may notice this model from the uh, tutorial on how to hook up your Sega Genesis. This uh, Genesis here is filthy. Uh, I got this, I think, at a garage sale for a dollar. And uh, I haven't even tested it because I haven't even cleaned it yet. And to be damned if I'm going to put one of my games in a dirty system. It, uh, it just doesn't happen around here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need your screwdriver. So that screwdriver. Uh, I got some rubbing alcohol. This is, uh, this is good for cleaning your pins inside your machine. And of course your canned air. This is something you need at all times. Uh, some Q-tips. I'll show you where we need those later. And possibly you're going to need a pair of tweezers. Now I use these uh, pen needle tweezers just because they can grab really small things in really tight. Okay, things. let's get started. Uh, first thing you want to do is turn the Sega Genesis over. You're going to have one, two, three, four screws to take out. So go ahead and grab your regular Phillips screwdriver and remove those four screws. And okay. come right back. Now that you have your four screws all taken out, go ahead and flip your Sega Genesis back over. And the top should come right off. All right. Now we need to remove this flange. So you have one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight screws to remove. So go ahead and remove all the screws that are holding this flange in place and come right back. Okay. Now that you have all of your eight screws removed, go ahead and take off the flange. And okay, so the next step up. is we want to move the two screws that are next to our connector here. So go ahead and let's remove those two screws. And what that'll do is that'll allow us to go ahead and remove the entire board. And try to keep your screws separated so you know where they go. Good thing about this system is there's different amount of screws for different parts. So go ahead and gently remove your board. You want to lift it from the back here and then kind of pull forward and then lift all the way out. Just like that. And let's go ahead and set this somewhere safe, such as on your flange. Okay. All right, and then we have, all we have left is just, just this flange here. Go ahead and pull that out. And uh, this is gonna be a loose part. So go ahead and uh, set that aside, set this aside. Okay, now that we have all that taken apart, I want you to go ahead and set aside the bottom and I want you to bring the top back over to you. Okay. Go ahead, there's two, or excuse me, there's three screws that are holding in your uh, game insert here. And we want to go ahead and take those out. All right. And you're going to notice here you got two springs that are holding this in place. Do not take this apart. Uh, it's kind of a pain to put back together. I mean, if you're an old pro you can put it back together but it's kind of a pain so just leave that together um, and you're just going to hand wash this part uh, because it does have springs in it okay now with all that done we're going to take all of our plastics besides this piece and probably this piece and uh, go ahead and uh, put them through the dishwasher okay now that you have your Sega Genesis completely disassembled I want you to take all the plastic pieces and it's time to do the dishes. What? My mom does the dishes. Well, you're going to have to do them this time. Fine. I don't care if your mom does the dishes. Alright, go ahead and bring your board back over. Lay it on a flat surface. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do some cleaning. Now, I asked you to get some alcohol. So go ahead and open that up. Grab one of your Q-tips. And get it moist. Not too super moist, so rub off the excess moisture inside there. Let me 
see how I'm doing that there. Just, just rub off the excess moisture. We don't want a ton of moisture in our system here. But what I want you to do is I just want you to rub along your connector here. See, that's where most of the dirt builds up in the first place, is right along there, okay? Now that that's done, I want you to take your can of air. I want you to get rid of that moisture quick. Right off. Okay. Now we have one other spot that we're going to use the alcohol on, and that is going to be your front controller ports. Wow. Look at that. It's actually like a wad of paper or something in there. So I'm going to go ahead and blow that out real quick. And then for each pin in there, just try to get all the pins in there nice and clean. See how I'm doing that? With some alcohol. And this part we really don't worry about the, the liquid being on there too much. Okay, just get them nice and clean as much as you can. Now what I need q-tips for, or not q-tips but tweezers, sometimes the little hairs from the q-tip we get like stuck in there. You want to go ahead and just pull those out. And when you're done, just blow them. Get inside your two ports, your AV port and your power port. Make sure you get those. Now that you have all your plastic pieces cleaned and they're all nice and dry, go ahead and start with your bottom piece and go ahead and replace this flange. Before we do that, let's go ahead and get a little spray. Make sure there's a little front on it. And you want to line up these two holes here with uh, these two holes here. Now once that's in place, we're going to go ahead and place this plastic piece. It's only going to go on one way so you can't really mess it up. Put that back on and then we're going to replace the board. And you want to put the ports in first. Ports in first. You kind of angle them down and then push them in. And there you go. Get the board's back in. The next step is Go ahead and replace these two screws here. And okay, come right now that those two screws are put back in, I just want to give one more shot at the connector here because it's the best part to keep clean. It's just me. I'm weird like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and replace the top flange. Uh, this area here obviously goes over the connector, so there's no way you can really mess up putting it back on. Just make sure it lays flat on the board all around and go ahead and replace your eight screws. Okay, now that you got right all back. eight screws back in the flange, our next step is to replace this little guy. So go ahead and take the top of your Sega Genesis, put this back in place, and it sets right in place. And put your three screws back in. Okay, back now here. that that's done, let's go ahead and put your top cover back on. And it should just slip right back on there. Flip the Sega Genesis over and replace your four screws. And that's it, uncleaning your Sega Genesis. Um, you should probably do that, you know, once a year, once every six months, uh, just depending on how often you play your Sega Genesis. Uh, you know, if you play as little Sega Genesis as I do, uh, you probably don't need to even do it that often, but uh, this one I got was fairly dirty and uh, need to be cleaned before I even attempted to play a game on it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If it did help you, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned. We're going to have some great videos coming out.